good morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular vitamin for our soul. This morning, our verse is written in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Let me read first from the New International Version. It read, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. In the New King James Version, it read, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I put different colors just to emphasize uh, some of it. Um, if you notice, the New International Version, it uses the word conform, and then after that it uses the word pattern. While in the New King James Version, it only used the word conform. And also the, the placement of words. Uh, but I put red because that is our expected output. So that is what we want to reach at. That is what uh, we wanted to know, to discover, and to live with that. So that is God's will. In the New International Version, it says that God's will is actually tested and approved. God's will that is good, that is pleasing, and that is perfect. Now, in the New King James Version, it also, the sa it also says the same thing. Uh, the will of God that is proved, the will of God is also good, acceptable, uh, instead of using pleasing, it used the word acceptable, and it used the same word perfect. And going back to the blue ones, conform. The original word the, uh, that was translated into English is the word schema. So the word schema, that is where we get our English word scheme or schematic uh, scheme or schematic so if you notice the new international version uses, uses that word twice the conform or scheme and also pattern okay let me show you uh, four schematic diagrams First, the first schematic diagram in the upper right-hand corner, that is actually the schematic diagram of a transistor radio. It's a bit complicated, right? The number two, the bottom left-hand corner, that is the schematic or the mechanical schematic diagram of a robot leg. Number three, that's the schematic of three-way switch. Uh, meaning, there is one light, but it can be controlled by two switches. So one switch can turn on and off the light. The other switch can also turn on and off the light. So that is three-way switch. And then number four uh, schematic diagram is the basic light switch. This is one light that can be controlled by one switch. So the schematic needs to be followed in order for us to come up to an expected output. So our expected output in our diagram 4 is to turn the light, the light on and off. So in order to turn the light on and off, and then we need to put the switch. In order for the switch to control the lights, to turn it on and turn it off, we need to follow exactly the schematic. 
So on this schematic, we have three lines. The three lines is in three different colors. The yellow is ground, the white is neutral, and the black is the live wire. So in order for us to make it on and off, so those are the connection where those lines are connected. And on the switch, we just need to cut the live wire and then connect it to the switch. The function of the switch is just like connecting two lines together. So switch off, it's disconnected. Switch on, now the line is connected. So by turning it uh, on and off, line is connected or disconnected. When the line is connected, light will turn on. When the line is disconnected, lights will turn off. Okay, so that is basic and that's easy. Yeah, it's easy to understand. But going to the three-way switch, it's a bit complicated because it uses four lines now and two lights can actually switch one light. So two control, one light. Even if the other one is off, you can turn it on from the other switch. Even the other switch is off, you can turn it on from the other switch. Okay, but we are not going to discuss that. Uh, my, my point is that in order for us to come up with an expected output, we have to follow strictly the schematic. Now, uh, from our verse that we have read earlier, the red color is the expected output. This is what we want. We want to arrive in it. We want to discover it. We want to know it. We want to live by it. That is God's will. The reason why we want to live in it, why we want to know it, because as Paul said, it is already tested, it is already approved. And the will of God that is good, that is pleasing and acceptable, that is perfect. Now, the problem is that uh, the Bible warns us that the devil or the prince of this world, he had switched the schematics on us. So he had put the schematic of this world. And that schematic, uh, the, the schematic of this world will actually lead us away from God and from the will of God. So that's why Paul is trying to tell us, Paul is trying to explain to us that we do not have to conform. We do not have to follow the pattern of this world. But instead, we have to transform our mind. We have to renew our mind. Instead of following to the schematic of this world, we have to follow the schematic of God. Instead of following the world, we have to follow the Word, which is the Bible, the Word of God. And by following the Word of God, then we will discover God's will. Now, we have to follow God's schematic, and that is God's living word. And that is the reason why we study His word, why we study the Bible. And that is also one of the objective why we do have our lemon juice for the soul. Because our out expected out output, the final outcome that we want is to discover follow and live God's will. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you because your word is leading us to find your will. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because we have your written word. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because we can actually live by your will. We can actually uh, find your will. Heavenly Father, 
our prayer is continually to teach us, continually to open our eyes so that we may see and discover and live your will. We thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Good morning!